inspector at the National Iranian Council, and he is a former U.S. State Department official. He joins us live now from Washington. Reza, thank you very much for joining us on the show. Let's start first with uh, President Barack Obama. Why do you think he has this need to make this appeal to Congress against implementing more sanctions against Iran? Well, he's had a contentious relationship with Congress ever since he came into office. I mean, couldn't have been more than a couple of weeks after he entered the White House. Uh, I believe it was Mitch McConnell said that his goal was to make Obama a one-term president. I think that personifies what we've seen over the past four years in terms of how they've interacted. But looking ahead, I think, you know, we have a, a good deal that the, the military, the intelligence community, and all other branches of uh, the, uh, the executive branch, excuse me, State Department included, all support. And then you have some members of Congress, by no means all of them, saying we need more sanctions, which not only violate the spirit of the agreement in Geneva, but could very well torpedo the deal if we are to take the Iranian foreign minister at his word. Well, so there's no reason why we shouldn't be giving the diplomatic uh, process a chance right now. Indeed, we do know, too, that there are lobby groups against uh, this uh, Geneva deal with uh, Iran, but it does seem as if domestic uh, politics seems to be getting in the way of American foreign policy. Now, how much is this congressional opposition that we were talking about a little earlier to the Iran deal have to do with winning over constituents rather than shaping global relations and American policy? I think that's certainly an important component of it. And that's why you've seen President Obama be very forward-leaning. And uh, the White House and the State Department as well, very forward-leaning when they speak publicly about this issue now. Uh, they're taking risks for peace. And uh, they're finding an audience inside of Iran, not just the Iranian people, but also elements within the Iranian government who are willing to reciprocate in kind to try and take those kinds of risks for peace. Uh, so when you have a, a willingness on the part of the White House to do that, it creates space for other individuals who can interact with Capitol Hill or individuals who are working uh, for Capitol Hill uh, to take similar risks. And I think uh, coming up on Wednesday, he's going to have a meeting with the Senate Democratic Caucus in an effort to try to make sure that they're all on the same page and win even more support than he already currently has. All right, Reza, I want to change tack a little bit here. Now, I ask you, should the U.S really be concerned about these reports of uh, Iran and Russia working on an oil for goods deal? Well, I think there's concern on the part of the United States because right now that we feel like we, uh, we have Iran in a good place, meaning we're in the diplomatic process in an effort to try to get a larger deal, a final deal that solves all of the problems. And there's concern that uh, we can empower elements inside of Iran who are opposed to diplomacy if we go forward with this deal between Iran and Russia. I don't share those concerns, and there's two key reasons why I don't. One, while it's true that Iran wants to export as much of its oil as possible, it's giving this oil or it's trading this oil to Russia, who is also a huge energy producer. So it's going to put more oil onto the market. It's going to lower oil prices in all likelihood which means that Iran's going to end up getting less money for the oil that it sells. But it's also only going to get goods in return from Russia. It has a similar mechanism in place with countries like China and India. It hasn't proven very effective to date. And so in the bigger scheme of things, this is not a position you want to be in if you're the Iranian government, where you're trading your oil uh, for random goods here and there with a handful of countries. You want to be reintegrated into the fabric of the international community fully. And I think that's why we're seeing the Iranians demonstrating this willingness to negotiate. Certainly very interesting. Reza, thank you very much for your insight. Reza Marashi, the research director at the National Iranian Council and a former U.S. State Department.